Hey, it's Sarah from SidetrackSarah.com and today I went to Walmart and I went shopping for one of my one week meal plans. We went and um, purchased for the low carb meal plan that's going to be published this week. And um, we also got some other things that we're going to need throughout the week. So I was just going to show you a bit about what we got for our week and some of it will be for longer than a week but just to give you a general idea what our family of nine will spend on a week in groceries and for this trip we did spend about two hundred and thirty dollars but we were really low on some things we've been using paper plates and we've been using um we just were almost out of food so we decided to go ahead and stock up on some of the things that we haven't had and just see, I'm, a lot of it will last quite a bit longer than a week. But, and then on the meal plan part, I went ahead and bought the side suggestions that's, that I um, published on the low carb meal plan for this week as well. And I don't always do that. Sometimes I just use canned vegetables or frozen vegetables and don't worry about the side suggestions. And so I did that and um, I'm trying to think. All right, well, anyway, I will show you now what we got. All right. Um, obviously we got a few things of broccoli. One of these is for um, one of the low carb meal plans that I've got going. And then we like to have backup cereal for breakfast for the kids. Sometimes I don't like to cook, so we'll buy a couple boxes of those so they can work through those on days that we don't have anything else. And then um, we noticed that at Walmart, this was all from Walmart this time. I prefer to go to Aldi, but um, they are under construction in the town we go to and so they're actually closed for a little while longer and Walmart is in our town Aldi is not but anyway we noticed that the spaghetti sauce at Walmart is now down to 88 cents which is actually cheaper than Aldi of course this kind has sugar so if I was since I'm doing the low carb plan I got this one with no sugar also for one of my recipes and that recipe only calls for like four ounces so I won't be using that much we always keep this on the border salsa on hand. Sometimes we'll buy it and bulk it, Sam's. Um, and this is, we're gonna be having steak fajitas. So we're, we got fajita seasoning. We've been eating a lot of hamburgers, so it's time to um, stock back up on our pickles because we just ran out last night. And we typically aren't a family that drinks a lot of milk, so we might buy just one or two gallons a month. And really these eggs, I have a lot in my fridge still from Easter. And so we just needed a, a few more for some of the recipes. Another thing we were really happy to find was that all these chips were way less expensive than they usually are. So we don't live in a town that has very many competitors. So all, our Walmart sometimes can be more expensive, but um, most of these were, I think, 88 cents uh, a bag, which... Aldi recently has been a dollar seventeen, I think. So um, we're saving quite a bit on that. Now, um, this orange juice is for some, an orange chicken recipe I'm going to be doing, and I was supposed to get flank steak, and I ended up getting sirloin tip thin for a couple of recipes. One's for steak fajitas, and the other is for flank steak. But obviously, we aren't going to use that because our Walmart did not have it. And that's probably our biggest expense this week is the amount of meat we got because I paid extra for the extra lean ground beef on this one because it's for meatballs and it will it would be just cooking in grease longer so I prefer to get the lean kind. Now I did get a roll of ground beef and I'm going to show you how to cook this in the instant pot um, without having to like brown it. And uh, we'll be doing that really soon. And we like to keep this uh, big thing of hamburgers, got it upside down, but hamburgers in the freezer for if we need a quick lunch or something, we can quickly just grill burgers. Now this big 10 pound bag of skinless chicken breast, I usually keep a bag of that on hand for those days where I don't have anything prepared for the freezer or I want to make something really quick in the Instant Pot. If all else fails, I will actually make chicken tacos in the slow cooker or the Instant Pot and put like a Rotel, a can of Rotel with taco seasoning in it and they make really good 
uh, chicken tacos. But this time I was thinking I was going to cook a whole bunch of them up in the Instant Pot so I could have quick meals because I'm starting to try to move to a more low carb lifestyle for me. And so that would help me. I could have it over a salad or something. Both of these chicken thigh recipes are for recipes from my low carb meal plan that I shop for. And we've been using paper plates to minimize dishes. If you can imagine nine of us, we go through dishes like crazy. So when we can use paper plates, we do. All these veggies are for this uh, zucchini is for zoodles for the low carb um, it's zucchini noodles that we will eat um, some of the meals over that. And we're going to try our hand at making some, I think, cauliflower rice out of the cauliflower. And we got some asparagus to steam and, of course, green peppers, which I kind of prefer to buy green peppers and onions at Aldi because they are quite a bit cheaper typically. But we'll see if our Walmart keeps trying to keep up or not. Now, at first I had three of these ice creams in my basket because I had a they had a big clearance signed by it saying three dollars then we found out it was only 450 so we just got one and of course bread for the hot dogs and hamburgers we do have hot dogs in the freezer right now that we've had for a long time so we're trying to eat those up and I guess that's it for this week it was about 230 dollars now in this portion of the video I'd like to just talk to you just a little bit about our shopping trip on my meal plan subscription that I publish each week, which is what I was using for my grocery list, it is separated into sections of the store. So it'll have meat together, dairy together, refrigerator and freezer items together, and then all the spices are together and all the canned goods and box goods are also together. So basically I start with the heavy stuff at first, and so I started with the meat, and then I move on to the canned stuff. If I if I'm feeling on my game, I'll, I'll wait and do the refrigerator stuff last, followed by all the produce and anything soft. But it kind of depends on the way the store is that day, how busy it is, and how sidetracked I am, because I tend to be pretty sidetracked. As you can see there that just passed, we always get that really big pack of paper plates, because when we don't, our dishes are just so out of control. It's ridiculous. So... And there my family showed back up to help me unload everything onto the onto the belt. So that was awesome. But for two twenty seven dollars with all that meat, that really wasn't bad. And we will eat on all of this a little bit longer than a week. But we do have our six meals that I prepared. All right. Well, this concludes our um, Walmart grocery shopping for our large family of nine. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, in order to clarify just a little bit, I mentioned that we spent $227 on all the groceries today. A lot of that was meat. Um, I had 20 pounds of um, hamburgers. I had 20 or 10 pounds of chicken breast that I was uh, planning to was not planning to use for our meal plans this week. So that was $40 extra in meat. Plus I had $10 in um just paper plates. So those were kind of some splurges that we made this week just to make our lives a little bit easier. But those aren't like have to do things. So I could have easily deducted that off of our weekly bill as, as well as other things. And we are, for our lunches, we are eating from, from the pantry quite a bit still because I like to buy kind of like I did today, a little bit ahead so we can eat from it. So we still have some hot dogs and, and, um, mac and cheese and things like and ham and things like that that we can turn into sandwiches and quick and easy meals. We also really like to do quesadillas and things like that. So um, anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to join us in the freezer to slow cooker meal plan subscription, I'll leave you a link in the description of this video. And if um, you would like to see me put together the six meals that I was buying for today, then uh, it will be on the next video and I'll put a link in for that as well. Also, as soon as it's ready, that is, because this one's going to publish first, but um, the other one will publish as soon as it's edited and everything. 
Now, also, I wanted to mention that just the part of the um, the meal plan groceries was about $117. And that was partly because I spent so much on that flank steak. That wasn't flank steak. I was spending over $6 a pound because that's all they had. If I was being careful, I would either change part of it for chicken or I would eliminate those recipes. There's been many times whenever I've used a meal plan where I just didn't have the money for the meat that was on there. And so I just took off that that part of it or I changed it to a different cut of meat and that's perfectly acceptable. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this meal plan um, shopping journey from Walmart, our large family grocery haul. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you and I will see you next time. Bye.